by your party requires, needs the resources of these wealthy people to survive, without which the end. And that's what I'm saying that, you see, there's some logic that people do not get. And when you proceed in political work, unscientifically, you end up drawing those conclusions. And I want to give you one vivid example. NDC performed so badly in the 2016 election, mm. when it was more resourced, it did better in the 2020 election when it didn't have those resources. What interpretation do you place on that? What interpretation do you place? The interpretation on? is that money doesn't go everywhere. The second scenario is that why is it that parties that have been in power and are more resourced have lost elections to opposition parties That's who have come to power? That's in Precisely. Example. So the question you ask is that why is it that with all this evidence that we have, people still put a premium on money? I know money is important for political work, but that money is supposed to be used for human agents to deliver the votes. If there is a route as a social democratic party, you can reach out to the people, then your requirements for financial resources is what I would consider as minimal or the, the optimal level at which you need to do administrative things and to provide basic logistics. But if you make that the precondition for election victory, the evidence shows clearly that there is no direct correlation between the amount of money you put in an election and the outcome of that election. Who are